what is sap sap is an erp system sap is an erp solution now what is erp erp stands for enterprise resource planning what is enterprise enterprise is the organization like in whatever company you are working those are all enterprise then resource what are the resources that you want to plan the resources are you already know human resources is one of the very key resource then what else do you have the fixed asset the machinery the materials which is also known as the you know the finished goods the merchandise all these thing the uh, the plant the factory all of these are resources and we need to do the planning well ahead so that we can meet the delivery so by delivery there can be other resources like supply chain management which is for procurement it is inbound delivery for sales it is the outbound delivery so this is enterprise resource planning and there are different different erp softwares available in the market and sap is one of them so let's understand how this enterprise resource planning helps us say in a company there are different different departments okay so these are the different different departments say this is the procurement department we call it mm material management say this is the quality management qm department this is finance department this is controlling department this is pp department and finally this is say sales and distribution so these are the different modules in sap they are known as so fi is financial accounting qm is quality management mm is material management co is controlling pp is production planning and sd is sales and distribution okay so there are different different modules now suppose uh, it's a, a pharmaceutical company i'm just giving you an example of pharmaceutical company now suppose say uh, in this pharmaceutical company a client comes in say a client is a big private nursing home the client comes in with a requirement of that i want uh, 500 bottles of cough syrup and say 750 strips of say high pressure tablets and they want this to be delivered by say today is 1st of april say by 30th april okay 30.04.2023 i'm using the ddmm format because most of you are in uh, from india so the client says that i want this requirement i want these two medicine and the delivery date is 3423 are you able to commit that you can deliver it by this date now the sales department says that okay hold on a minute i don't have the details with me let me check with the mm department okay so what will they do they'll straight away ask the material management department so they'll ask the mm department saying hey do you have the material ready the mm department says that no i don't have any material i can buy one but for that i would need a, a approval from the fi team so the mm department then goes to the fi team the fi team says that okay i have the budget you can go ahead with the purchase so i will give my approval and you can purchase it but let me know whether the production team is ready because you are going to buy the ingredients you are going to buy the raw materials and you will give it to the pp team and the pp team will do the you know uh, the conversion the raw material into finished goods conversion the pp team will take care of it so the uh, the mm team will then go back to the pp team that hey we have a huge order in place so i'm going to bring the raw material can we do that and all so in this way there is a lot of back and forth will happen when the pp team will complete its delivery then the qm team will come into the picture the qm team's work is to make sure that the quality is ensured like the cough syrup and the high pressure tablets are effective that means whatever they are supposed to do they are actually doing it okay and at the end finally the controlling team the co team will do the costing and after only after that then all this information will go to the sd team and sd team will tell them that uh, whether they'll be able to meet this delivery time 
and what will be the per bottle cough syrup cost because once the costing is done then they will add some profit so the once they arrive at the costing they will add say 15% profit so as a team they not only has to commit whether they can meet the timeline but apart from that they need to tell them that what will be the price so all this back and forth will happen in absence of an erp solution whenever there is no erp each department will have to discuss with they will have to ring the other department and get uh, information from them now we have erp in place so whatever erp solution be it i'm not talking about sap any erp solution what will it do it will integrate all these separate separate departments into one single system in that system it will be clearly written that they i mean each department doesn't have to um, maintain their separate separate excel sheet it is a centralized department where all the information will be written like how many raw materials do they have so with that raw material how long will the fi team will take to approve then how long will the delivery uh, take the inbound delivery time for the procurement team to receive the raw material then how long will the production process take after that how long the qm team will take then the controlling team will take okay then everything with the uh, you know the planning and all what will be the final delivery date say they come up with the final delivery date as 29th of april 2023 so they can deliver one day before the actual delivery date okay and they come up with a price of something i don't know just giving an example of 120 dollar per uh, tablet and all so what will happen in that case the hd team the sales and distribution team the sales office doesn't have to ask the customer to wait and i'll give you a call in maybe couple of days not like that okay so everything is maintained the delivery schedule everything is maintained in a centralized uh, system so whenever a new stock comes in not only the so the stock movement is handled by the mm team material management team the procurement team so whenever a new stock comes in not only the mm team gets to know it know about it qm pp co fi sd all the team comes to know about the new stock movement similarly whenever a stock is sold a couple of items are sold the other teams are also know also will come to know so this is the erp solution where everything is maintained in a centralized server so this is all about erp if you don't have a erp solution your system your company will not be cannot run smoothly so this is all about erp now in the market there are different different erp solutions are available for example why sap so why we go ahead with sap so uh, let me let me show you what are the different different erp solutions available in the market there are an erp solution called oracle but oracle is famous for finance module so oracle now recently they have introduced their netsuite module netsuite is better for uh, the integration of finance with the other modules as well but traditionally oracle is a finance based software mostly the banking systems used use oracle okay initial their initial uh, introduction was known as ofs oracle finance solution or oracle finance services financial services okay so you see if if anybody implements oracle they'll be having the fi module only similarly there are other module other erps are there for example people soft so people soft is good at hr module only human resource module so uh, anything else you cannot integrate it similarly there is something called ban which is good for manufacturing only that is this pp module production planning it's very good but the other areas will lack okay you cannot integrate if you use ban then you have to uh, for pp module you use one erp solution for hr another erp for finance another erp okay similarly you have jd edwards like different different erp solutions are available in the market but the problem is they cannot integrate this centralized purpose is beaten that's why sap is a very good solution erp solution because in sap all the modules are available You, whatever modules these six these are the main uh, primary modules there are other technical modules as well these are the functional modules so these are the mm, i mean important functional modules that i have shown there are other different different modules as well and there are different sub modules are available as well so if you introduce sap then everything will be under one umbrella so the centralized system will be available you don't have to uh, be worried about the integration whether the integration is working fine or not so this facility will be available in sap that is why 
uh, SAP is more popular. So currently around 38, it's not currently, maybe a couple of years old data, around 38% uh, of the implementation or even 40% of the implementations in the world are done in SAP. So most of the people, they go for SAP solution as an ERP. So that is all about SAP. And a couple of more things you'll come to know whenever we, we talk about uh, in details in FICA that you'll come to know about SAP. There are different different environments within SAP, like whatever uh, configuration we do, we do in a testing system. So there are different different environments, like the first one is called development. Then the second one is called quality because there we do the testing and finally we move it to production. So all this information we'll talk about in details whenever we uh, get into the training. So in SAP, there are generally, if I talk about the history, but very brief, there are different, different versions in SAP. So initially it started with R1, then R2, then R3. Then the latest version is called S4 HANA. So S4 HANA means S for simple, four is the fourth generation because R1, R2 and R3 were the first three generation. So S4 is the fourth generation, S4 HANA, okay? So S4 HANA is a better enhanced version. So a lot of extra features are available compared to R3 or ECC. So all these thing will come to know when we you know get inside of the course. 